Hey, it's Magnus here, and today I want to talk about this spinner and this spinner. Now, very quickly, before I get into this video, in the description below, you will see a link to my website where I've got a sign-up page where you can get onto my launch list for this titanium spinner that I'm designing. It is in the final prototype stages and will be launching soon. Getting on that list is the number one best way for you to sort of get access to it be notified and also get some sort of behind the scenes stuff that I sort of share with you that I don't share here. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Magnus, that's barely even a prototype spinner and that is just a chunk of metal. And you're right. <laughs> but I'm still gonna talk about them nonetheless. As you may or may not know, I am in the sort of final stages of prototyping a fairly high-end spinner. Um, in fairness, pretty, you know, most products I make are, are high-end. I mean, I mean, I only make products out of titanium. I don't really make products out of anything else. So, of course, this spinner is going to be titanium. Now, believe it or not, this, this spinner here, that is actually the second most recent prototype. This is the most recent one. Now this one here has been fairly, you know, it's, it's been hand ground and I've done a lot of angle work and stuff like that. It just it's very rough, really really rough. I mean, so you look at this and I shall get a pointy thing. So if you look here, you know, the angles here and the line here, it's fairly different to the, to the line here and the angles here. It is just a very rough prototype just to sort of get a, get a feel for it. Now if you've been watching my previous videos which you know for the, for the for the YouTube videos it's been about the last two weeks on my YouTube channel my daily my daily videos on my YouTube channel it's been mostly about spinners and this is as far as the this is the sort of the, the, the latest stage of the spinner. It's taken a long time to get here so I mean even though it looks like this is just a very rough kind of shape, you know, I've made it to look good. I've really not, and if you followed me on, on my, my videos so far, it's, it's taken a lot of development, a lot of work to get to this stage. Now, you know, maybe, maybe the title of this YouTube video is, you know, maybe not accurate in what I want to talk about, I'm not sure. But what I want to talk about is, you know, what it takes, or some of what it takes to, to make a spinner. Now, I I appreciate I've not made a spinner so far. I'm you know, the most of the most I've done so far is, is you know made a you know a fairly a fairly decent attempt at a fairly you know sophisticated prototype. It certainly works. That's for sure. Just to give you an example, this spinner here is 1.5 millimeters. Oh, fly! Get away, fly! Man, this spinner here is 1.5 millimeters longer than this one here. Now, this one, of course, I still have to, I still yet have to, to hand grind. It's, it's only just a very rough cut piece of 8mm thick titanium with a hole for the bearing. 1.5mm, it's not a lot of difference. But, in truth, in terms of spinners, it is. it actually is a lot of difference. Or, it makes a difference, you know what I mean. So this, this spinner here, you know like, when, when I spin it like, like this, let me show you. So when I, when I spin it in this sort of, this sort of way, where I, where I grab the top and, sp and spin it, it's actually difficult to do it while showing you at the same time. I'm still getting the hang of it. The 1.5 millimeters sort of shorter that this one is, when I spin this one, it makes a big difference, you know, in terms of being able to grab it and, and that kind of thing. I know this because, now I know this isn't made yet, but I have one that I've made a little bit different, but it's the same length as this, and I know that it's easier to spin. 
But here's where it gets tricky. And you know, like, I'm not really just comparing these two spinners. What I'm, what I'm comparing is all spinners in a way. I've got a few spinners of myself, some heavy ones, light ones, you know, three, three arm spinners, you know, two arm spinners like this. And they are so completely different. I can, I can pick up each, I can pick up one spinner, I can be like, oh, it's too heavy for me, it's too this, it's too that. I can pick up another one and be like, oh, it's too light, it's too, you know. And I'll read online and I'll, I'll see someone talking about the same spinners that I pick up that are maybe too heavy, too short, too big, too light. And, and they're saying, you know, like, this is my favorite spinner. And the thing is, I, I think, I think because, because everyone's hands are different and because, you know, you know, everyone's kind of, most people have got fairly sensitive fingers and, you know, what they like to touch and how they like to sort of feel things and the, the tactility and the sort of fidgetability and, you know, the feel of materials, you know, all that sort of stuff. Spinners, without a doubt, are a real personal thing. Like when I when I play around with the other spinners I've got, you know, I you know I'm like, oh it's okay, you know, it's a bit light, it's a bit this and then, and I go back to this one, you know, that, that's taken me, you know, I don't know, ten, no, not ten, maybe twenty, thirty, forty, I don't know how many iterations to get to this stage. It's a lot a lot of work to get to this level of development. I'm like, oh, it's, it's like, it's kind of like a comfortable old jumper that you've had for years and you just love. It's like, when I go back to this, it's like the right weight, it's the right size, it's the right shape, and, you know, and the other ones don't really fill that for me. And I know that that's most likely just my preference. So it's kind of, it's, it's interesting when, when I'm designing a spinner because it's purely me that's playing with it. I mean, I let other people, you know, play with it as well and sort of do it, but it's me that sits for literally dozens of hours and just and just mucks around with it, tests it, tries, you know, make a new prototype, test that one. And so it's probably gonna be to to my style, the type of spinner I like. Now I like a little bit you know, a little bit more weight to it. Like a, an aluminium spinner, you know, no way is is that probably gonna be for me. I mean, you never know. But going back to these spinners here, one of the recent changes I've done is you see this you see this angle here compared to this angle here. Actually, just out of interest, that thing I'm pointing with that is a titanium mechanical pencil that I uh, make and sell, a fairly high precision one, fully titanium. That pencil should give you an idea of the kind of you know, the kind of spec and kind of products I make, you know, that sort of simple but, you know, high-end type minimalist thing, you know, it'll give you an idea. So that's kind of where the spinner concept is going and why I'm making it of titanium and that kind of thing. Anyway, the angles. So this, I've made this slightly steeper because I think this slight steepness, this sort of extra point, will be better than this point when it comes to spinning it and then stopping it again, you know, so this whole sort of start-stop thing. I know I've said it before, if you've watched previous videos, but repeatability in a spinner is like one of the one of the main criteria for me, you know, being able to just start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, you, you get the idea. Because you want, you generally what you're doing when you're playing with them, I find is, you know, you're, you're just, you know, maybe you're spinning them back and forth like that, forward, backwards, forward, backwards, and you're just repeating the same motion, or, or you're perhaps just flicking it like that. Oh, out of interest, this spinner here, one of the, one of the first, it will be one of the first spinners, maybe the only spinner, but maybe not, where, I shall show you, because of, because of this curve here, this sort of um, very smooth, angled curve, it's got various, I think in mathematical terms it's called a saddle. So instead of just spinning, if you watch my finger, instead of just spinning up, like most, most sort of actions, I can, I can spin it like this, I can flick my finger forward. So you see that? So this is like a sort of three-dimensional spinner, you can, you can just flick it forward and you can do that, you know, of course, with your, with your index finger as well. If you want to know any more about this spinner, anything I've not talked about, or you know you have any questions about this and the development of it, 
leave a comment below. I will answer in the you know however I can in the next video or the next few videos. Remember, if you want to sort of be guaranteed you know when I launch it and you know get some more behind the scenes stuff for it, then check out the link in the description below. There is a sign up link there. I will of course leave you with a quote. It's by Carl Jung and he said, everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. I'm so